Did you know cash is trash? Did you all know that the average inflation rate for the past 11 years has been about 1.69%? Yes, 1.69%. That's why cash is trash if you let it sit in one of those big bank savings accounts. That $1 you put in into that savings account 11 years ago is now worth, wait for it, a few moments later, about 85 cents. Yes, 85 cents. That's why cash is trash if you let it sit, especially on these savings accounts. The interest rates that these big banks provide their customers, it's not enough to keep up with these, these uh, inflation rates. Um, that's why, you know, you gotta figure out how you can make every single dollar work for you after you earned it. Let's take a look at these big banks, Chase, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. How much interest rate are they really providing you in these savings account? Chase and Wells Fargo banks are only giving you 0.01%. I'm shook. 0.01%. Bank of America, on the other hand, gives you 0.06%. Bruh. 0.06%. Hmm. That's why, as much as possible, you gotta look for other vehicles to have your money work for you a little harder. The vehicles I use to make my money work harder for me in in the short term are these high yield savings account they pay you a little bit more some of these high yield savings account has gone down on their interest rate but it's still a lot better than 0.01 and 0.06 percent here are some financial entities i use for my high yield savings accounts first is american express second is Marcus by Goldman Sachs. And third, Synchrony Bank. American Express High Yield Savings Account pays you 0.80%. Marcus by Goldman Sachs also pays you 0.08%. Synchrony Bank pays a little bit less, 0.75%. Still a lot better than 0.01 and 0.06%. There are some other entities that pay a little bit more. I would do your research. I stuck with these three banks because these are the banks that, uh, or financial entities that I have used and are, are still using. The only drawback really on these uh, high yield savings accounts are the amount of time it takes for your money to transfer transfer back to your checking. It's usually between two to three business days. But in my opinion, that's really not a drawback. Like I mentioned earlier, I use these accounts for short term. The money on these accounts I used for paying taxes, car insurance, home insurance, HOA dues. On that note regarding car insurance, don't pay monthly. I suggest doing every six months or every year. By doing that, they give you about $100 to $200 discount if you pay bi-yearly or once per year. I would take advantage of that. Every dollar saved, it's a dollar earned. But in all honesty, diversify your money, short term and long term. On future episodes, I'll discuss what you can do to invest your money on long term. Let's go and diversify that money.
Make sure to destroy that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, ding dong ding a ling that notification bell.